Is that hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Take two. We're on. So look, man, we're working on a 4.7 Jeep uh, V8. The same thing is in a Durango. I'm losing track now. The Dodge truck. Dakota. Dakota. Grand Cherokee. I mean, guys have been working on it. So far, we've went ahead and tore down the head. We showed you how to do that. We've cleaned the head. Uh, we've grinded the valves, taught you how to do that. Now, the next important part is going to be the valve stem seals. And why that's important is a bad valve stem can cause a very serious smoking issue. And if you've already got your head down, who the hell wants to deal with that? Certainly not I. But to give you a cross reference of the two, you see the one valve stem is right here seal and it's actually got a little tear in the gasket I don't know if you can actually see that you can see it all right and here's round here's the new one it's got a brand new nice pretty little rubber gasket and you know nice and pretty and clean and good and we can actually I don't know if you can see inside of this one but there's actually oil getting inside of that and there really shouldn't be any there's no reason for it to be there because remember when we put this on there we don't want when the valve comes down that rubber seal is supposed to clean the oil off and nothing's supposed to drip down through below. Now also we did notice on this it's got a couple little aluminum flakes. That's of course we had some bent valves. No question where that problem came from. Um, Alright, so we're going to switch over right now. I'm going to let the master himself show you how to actually install this and we're going to show you the exact location, um, talk about cleaning it a little bit and try to make this a painless operation. This is nothing to be scared of. How much did it cost us to get the seals? It came in a kit. It came in a kit. If you bought them by themselves, they're pretty cheap, but right. the kit's only a hundred something bucks that covers everything. So just get the kit when you're doing the upper head anyway and don't sweat it. Right. Alright, put that sucker on pause. Okay, we're gonna install the seals. I don't know. Hold that in your hand, let's take a good look at that. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a rubber insert. We can kinda of tell, yeah, like in the gray, the little it gray comes area. Out on this side, the gray, and then in that. So this is dry, the stem, the guide is dry. Let's talk about where that goes, that, that guide, where it actually goes. It's kind of made out of brass, copper, or whatever, I don't know. You see them sticking up? Yeah, we see them. <clears throat> so basically that gasket's gonna fit right over that. Just like that. But it's a dry stem with a dry seal. So we're kind of thinking, it, so we're going to lube it. Yeah, and how we're going to lube it is, it's going to dip a, a little um, Q-tip and some motor oil, and just give it a light coat. Don't overdo it. Both sides. Won't hurt he said, anything. "Keep it easy, baby." Yep. Go around that a little bit. It's not going to hurt anything. You take your. And you notice how clean those stems are that we've actually cleaned. They're pretty clean. What is that, three quarter inch? Three quarter inch. All right, cool. Place your seal down on it. As soon as he gets that place, guys, I'll kind of show it to you. Take your trusty knocker. All right, I'm going to go ahead. He's kind of got that. See where that's kind of placed? That's a three-quarter inch. Taking the socket over, and he's just going to lightly tap it. Just like you put seals in any bearing, wheel bearing. Just tap it. When, you can feel it when it seats. It gets, it's real soft, and then it becomes, now that the seal is on, you can. So seal's on good. You can place the valve back in the. The hole. Let's and see if I can get a shot of that valve coming through there. All right. See where his finger's at right there? There we go. That's nice. Boy, that's nice and tight, isn't it, guys? Yep. And that's what you're looking for. And um, I guess at the end of the day, that's how you do a valve stem seal. That's it. That's all there is to it. All, the, all of them are the same. Uh, all of them are the same size. So you can't mix up the exhaust with the intake. Yeah, and so it's pretty simple, straightforward. Uh, just remember this, guys. Subscribe, because not only do I do killer videos, I'm also a killer, killer videographer. That's right. Anyway, next thing coming on, we're going to show you how we attach the valves. Peace out. See you on the next flip. Bam.